Replacing coffee with green tea can be one of the best decisions you ever make, but there are a few things you'll want to know first. In this video, we're going to be covering the benefits of switching from coffee to green tea, as well as the challenges you might face by replacing your morning coffee with green tea. Finally, we're going to cover three great teas that may help you if you're switching from coffee to green tea. So first, let's go through a few of the benefits of replacing coffee with green tea to give you a good goal to shoot for. These benefits mostly have to do with the compounds that exist in the tea leaf that aren't found in the coffee bean. First, we have the antioxidants. One of the benefits of replacing coffee with green tea has to do with the antioxidant content. Green tea is rich in antioxidants, particularly catechins, while coffee contains very little. These antioxidants have been linked to various health benefits, including improved heart health, reduced oxidative stress, and the potential protection against certain diseases. Next, we have the L-theanine in the tea leaf. Green tea contains the amino acid L-theanine, which has calming and relaxing properties. The combination of caffeine and L-theanine in green tea can provide alertness without the same jittery feelings associated with coffee. The lower caffeine content in green tea may lead to a milder stimulating effect, potentially reducing feelings of jitteriness or anxiety associated with the higher caffeine doses found in coffee. For this reason, tea drinkers report having a longer lasting, calm alert sensation that lasts throughout the day without the jitters or the crash normally associated with coffee. Let's also talk about the hydration. Green tea contributes to your daily fluid intake and it can be a hydrating option. Unlike coffee, which can have a diuretic effect, green tea is less likely to contribute to dehydration. We can also see some improvements in cardiovascular health. Some studies suggest that green tea may have cardiovascular benefits, including potential improvements in cholesterol levels and blood pressure. These benefits can contribute to heart health, and they mostly come from the catechins in the tea leaf. These catechins alone can be one of the major benefits of switching from coffee to green tea. Finally, we have dental health. Another one of the benefits of replacing coffee with green tea has to do with oral health. It contains compounds that can inhibit the growth of bacteria in the mouth, potentially contributing to improved oral hygiene. Green tea is also not believed to stain teeth like coffee, making it easier on the teeth overall. So now that we've talked about the benefits of replacing coffee with green tea, let's talk about a few teas that might help you along the way. We're going to take a look at our three favorite green teas to recommend to people that are replacing coffee with green tea. So first we have Gyokuro. When you're replacing coffee with green tea, one of the most difficult things can be giving up the caffeine. Luckily, Gyokuro has even more caffeine than coffee. This is a long shaded green tea with a sweet and savory flavor and 120 to 140 milligrams of caffeine per serving. The tea is also high in theanine, so you may not get the same crash or jitters you would normally associate with coffee. Next we have matcha. When it comes to replacing coffee with green tea, matcha powder is one of the first things that comes to mind. Like Gyokuro, matcha is a shaded tea that is high in caffeine and theanine with 68 milligrams of caffeine in a single teaspoon. When switching from coffee to green tea, one of the things you might miss is the lattes. If you're used to beginning your day with a latte, try some matcha instead of coffee. If you're mixing tea with milk and sugar, the latte grade matcha is the perfect option. And you can find it on our website, neoteas.com. Before we get to the last tea on our list, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to see more like it in the future. So finally, we have hojicha. When switching from coffee to green tea, another thing you'll notice is the flavor profiles are completely different. If you miss those earthy and roasted flavors of coffee, you might want to try the hojicha. This tea is roasted, which gives it a bolder and darker flavor that tastes similar to coffee. You can still take advantage of the benefits of switching from coffee to green tea because hojicha is very low in caffeine. So even though there are a lot of benefits of switching from coffee to green tea, there can be some challenges. Here are a few things that people most commonly struggle with. First, we have the taste. Both coffee and green tea taste very good, but the flavors are very different. Tea is made from the leaves of the tea plant, and coffee is made from the inner seed of the coffee cherry, which is the fruit of the coffea plant. This seed is then roasted to take on the shape you would commonly associate with a coffee bean. So naturally, the flavors are going to be completely different. When you're replacing coffee with green tea, you're getting a drink that has a milder flavor and more of this citrusy or vegetal flavor compared to coffee. It may take a while for your taste buds to adapt, as coffee does have a much stronger flavor. But over time, you'll begin to appreciate the subtle nuances of green tea. Next, we have the caffeine. By replacing your morning coffee with green tea, you'll most likely end up consuming less caffeine. While this is seen as one of the benefits of replacing coffee with green tea, it can take some getting used to. 
As we mentioned before, there are a few green teas that can actually have a higher caffeine content than coffee, but you won't feel the same jolt of energy. This is a good thing in the long term as you'll get a more balanced energy, but in the beginning, it may be hard to get used to. I hope you all found this video helpful when it comes to replacing coffee with green tea. If you want to find any of the teas mentioned in our video, like Kyokuro, Matcha, or Hojicha, you can find all of them on our website, neoteas.com. After traveling around Japan for the past few years, we've met with dozens of tea farmers and sampled hundreds of different types of teas. We've ultimately selected a list of our favorites and you can find them on our website with free shipping worldwide. If you order some teas from us, it would really help support this channel and everything that we do. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.